everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have my Priceline 40% off cosmetic sale um, haul video for you all. And then I've also just got some random stuff that I've recently picked up from Priceline as well that aren't makeup related but more skincare related. So yeah, if you'd like to see what I picked up, then just keep watching. And yes, I do know that I've only recently just posted a massive, massive, massive Priceline haul. I don't think that I've ever done a haul that big on my channel. This haul isn't going to be that big, but if you haven't seen it, I'll link that haul down below. Um, yeah, so let's get started. So the first thing that I picked up was two Australis AC on tour contouring palette things. Um, my price line had like a bin full, so I didn't feel bad buying two. Um, but yeah, I'll show you what mine looks like. That's what the packaging outside looks like. And then that's what it looks like on the inside. Um, so you've got a nice highlight like a row of highlights and a row of contours. Um, I really, really like this. The reason why I bought two was I am, I do have a family friend that's staying in Australia for a semester. She's here studying. Um, so I did pick up one of those for her just as a little bit of a welcome gift because she did want to try a little bit of Australian makeup. And to be honest, this is probably the best product besides the Australis Velour Lips that I think are on the Australian market that you can't get in the States. Just being honest, there's probably other things that I've completely overlooked, but the first thing off my mind is this. So I bought one of those for her, and then I've also bought one of these for an upcoming giveaway. Um, yeah, something completely random. I did pick up a deodorant. I haven't tried this before. I normally use the Rexona kind of this, um, but I decided to pick up the Nivea because it was on sale for like nine bucks. Um, this is the Nivea Antiperspirant Deodorant Stress Protect Clinical Strength Against Sweat, 48 hour gentle. I'll show you what it looks like. It's just one of those ones that has the little product that comes out the top. Mine's still closed because I'm still finishing off my one. This is the one that you use after your shower. So before you go to bed, you put this on and in the morning and for the rest of the day, you're good to go. You are not gonna sweat a drop. At least that's the one that I get from my Rexona one. So I hope I get similar results from this. I'll definitely let you guys know if it's really shit. If it's not shit, I'll probably overlook it and not tell you guys about it, so I'm sorry. I picked up a backup of the Hydraluron Moisture Jelly. Um, I'm running quite low on mine, so I thought that I'd pick up another one. It just looks like this. As you can see, I am running quite low on it. Probably still got another few weeks out of it, but I decided to pick up another one anyway. Then I did pick up two other face moisturizers because I did want to try some more drugstore products just so I can kind of mix up my skincare routine, I guess, because I'm a really, really hot, like, I really like my high-end skincare. I don't know why, it's just what I love, but I decided to pick up these two because they look very, very good. I picked up the Johnson's & Johnson's Face Care Rehydrating Night Cream and then also the Nourishing 24-Hour Day Cream with SPF 25. Wait, SPF 15, oh my God, I can't even read. But yeah, so I decided to pick those up. They are very, very light moisturizers. They're not very, very intensive, which I normally like, but they are nice for days or nights that I just want a little bit of moisture and I want to put on like something more intensive like underneath. So I did pick up three nail polishes from Australis. I did pick up a pale blue, a what I thought was a milky pink color, but it's actually a peachy color. It's what I have on my nails today. I actually really quite like it. And then also a teal color. Um, this one is called Friend Like Me. That's the nice blue one. Then I have, what's this one called? Um, then we have Sweet Caroline. That's what I have on my nails today. And then I also have Indie, which is just a teal color. I'm so excited for this one. I think this is one is going to be perfect for winter. Picked up a random pack of hair ties because I literally had no hair ties at work and my hair was pissing me off. These are just the ones by Scrunchy and then the No Damaged Knotted Ponytailers. I think because there's these ones, to be honest, I was like, oh my God, I'm so going to try those because everyone loves them. To be honest, I hate them. I'm not used to them. I don't like them. I like just my normal, normal headbands like this. I don't like these at all. Two brushes I picked up from the sale. I did pick up the Models Prefer Small Powder Brush. I actually really, really enjoy this brush. It's really, really nice. And I also picked up the Models Prefer Airbrush Foundation. It looks like this. I'm so excited to use this one. I think it would just be amazing, even for like cream contouring or even just powder. I think it would just be an amazing universal brush. 
can't wait to see how it goes. If it's really, really good, I want to buy so many more models for her brushes because they're so affordable. Um, I think this was only like 15 bucks and the other brush was I think $11. I don't know. I'm just pulling numbers out of the top of my head. I did pick up one bourgeois eyeshadow pot. I think it's what it's called. I picked mine up in the shade 08. I didn't pick it up as an eyeshadow. If you guys know me, I don't really like light colors on my eyelid. I like... Yeah, I don't like super light colors on my eyelid. I don't think it complements me very well. But I did pick this up for a highlight. It's what I have on my cheeks today as that intense highlight. And oh my gosh, I love it so much. I was going to get 05 as well, but I was like, seriously, you do not need two for the same purpose. So I just picked up this one. It is so, so pretty. If you can swatch it, go swatch it. It's so pretty. Like seriously, it is so pretty and so pigmented. I'm sure it'd look great as an eyeshadow if you loved using light colors as eyeshadows, but I just personally don't think it suits my eyes at all. And that is a swatch of it there. I also picked up a mascara from Physicians Formula. I'm not going to open it because I haven't opened it yet. Uh, I did buy a few mascaras. Um, this is just their Organic Wear Ultra Black Organics Fake Out Mascara. I hope that's what it's called. Um, but yeah. I've been wanting to try a mascara from Physicians Formula for a while, so I thought I'd pick up this one. I did pick up a few more things from Bourjois. Um, I picked up two pressed powders, one in the shade 53, which I bought first, and then I put it on my face and I was like, oh my god, I need to buy another shade. So that's what it looks like there. And then I seriously loved it so much that I went back and bought 55. I wish I bought 52, but they were sold out, and I was like, I need to buy another one, I don't care what color it is. So I bought 55. It is a tiny bit darker, but I feel like when I'm super, super dark, it will match me um, as a pressed powder if I just use it lightly. So yeah, I absolutely adore these powders. Seriously, it's become my favorite powder very, very fast. It's great. Like, I would pay full price for these. They're so, so good. Full price, they're $20, which I don't think is too expensive anyhow. But seriously, they're so good. They keep me matte like no other powder does and love it. And I don't even think I told you what it's called. It's called the Bourjois Healthy Balance Matte 10 Hour Natural and Healthy Glow Powder. I picked up, I'll tell you the story. So I picked up one of the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper Mascaras, um, Brow Mascaras, the week, the day before the sale because I was like, I've been looking for a backup of this for like weeks and I couldn't find any. And it was 30% off, so I decided to pick one up. And I was like, phew, now I have a backup. And then I walked into another price line, like I was probably one of the first people in the price line sale, like to walk through the doors and I found like 10 of them on display. So I picked up another one. Um, so I ended up, sorry, my camera just cut out, but I ended up getting two of them, um, one at 30% off and one at 40% off because no joke, I was searching high and low and I couldn't find them. So I was so scared that like everyone was going to buy them and they would never be in stock because mine's starting to run out a little bit. Um, so I was not going to be without it because it's my favorite. I did pick up a, a mascara from Bourjois. This one is called their Volume One Second Mascara in the shade Ultra Black. I was just going to get the normal one, but I decided to get the Ultra Black one. Um, this one has been the mascara that I have been using, so I'll show you the wand on this one. Let me zoom in. Okay, so that was a fail. I tried to zoom up on the wand and it didn't work. It just looked like a blob of blackness. So you can't really see the dimensions in the bristles, but it is one of those synthetic bristles and it's really, really weird it's got like little balls as separators and then it's got little spikes it's really really strange but i do feel like it does get all the lashes i feel like it's more volume um it's more lengthening than volumizing though um but yeah overall a nice mascara but i don't think that i'll repurchase i picked up two of these but one of them is at work this is the nukes lip balm it seriously smells like lemon cream and it's one of my favorites I talked about it in my last favorites video um, so I'll link that down below as well but seriously this is like the best thing ever it's not a glossy lip balm it's a matte lip balm but like it's nourishing at the same time it's really really hard to describe but it's really really good um, if you can't get a hold of nukes near you I know they sell it on look fantastic but I bought mine from Priceline and seriously favorite okay guys I'm sorry my camera completely cut out but let's keep going so I did pick up four velour lips, wait, four, five, five velour lips. Wow. So I picked up four of the new ones that they released and then I picked up one backup. I didn't get that super, super bright porn star pink color. I just didn't think that was cute at all. Um, but I did pick up these four from the collection. So I picked up every other one. So I picked up the shade Shanghai and these are literally the exact same color as the tube. Um, this is Shanghai. This one is called 
Dubai. This one is called Budapash. Budapash? Like, they print black on like a super, super dark tube, like smart one Australia. I think it's called Budapash, I think. Um, and then this one is called Bartholona. Bath Alona. <laughs> That's so hard to say. Um, but yeah, and then I did pick up a backup of Paris because I love Paris and it's always sold out. The next thing that I tell you, you're going to be like, what? Seriously? Um, but not even kidding. Are you ready for this? I bought three eyeliners, like liquid eyeliners. I never wear eyeliner. Why did I buy eyeliner now? I have no idea. I bought four and then I was like, okay, I better return one because I seriously never wear eyeliner. Um, but I did pick up the Bourjois Liner Clubbing. I don't go clubbing, but that's what it's called in black. And this is just a small felt tip. I'll show you it because I've used it. Um, but it's got a super, super thin tip and I actually really, really like this. Um, yeah, I really, really like it. I think I'll wear eyeliner more often now. And then I did pick up two pen liquid eyeliners. I picked up the L'Oreal Linear Soak Tour, um, which I haven't opened. And then also the L'Oreal Linear Perfect Slim, which I also haven't opened. Also from L'Oreal, I did pick up one of their concealer sticks. This is in the shade, or this is called Perfect Match. Um, in the shade two, I think. No, 20 Vanilla. There's one shade lighter than this, but I like the undertones of this one way more than the other one. So I picked up this one. Um, I haven't used it yet, but it's one of those twist crayons. We're coming to the last of it, guys. I promise. <laughs> so I did pick up an Essence eyeshadow. I love these eyeshadow duos by Essence. I think they're the best. Seriously, they are so, so good. Um, this one's in the shade Irresistible Caramel Cream, and it's so pretty. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, it's so, so pretty, especially the lighter shade in the palette. I think that would be an amazing highlighter. And that's those two swatches there. You can't really see the darker shade, but I bought it more for the light shade. So a pencil eyeliner. I picked up the Australis Bombastic Bronze. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Bombastic Bronze. I guess this is just their standard eyeliner. 10 hour waterproof eye pencil. Um, yeah, this is so good. I love it so much. Fran recommended it and I absolutely love it. Hi, Dad. Sorry about that guys. Anyway, let's continue. So I just told you about the eyeliner. So I did buy one Essence lip liner. This was the one that I was missing that I didn't even know I was missing. Um, I'm just gonna take off the plastic now. To be honest, I haven't even swatched this yet, but these are normally $2 anyway, and I saw it and I was like, hold on, I don't have you in my collection. Picking you up. It's not used, that's always good. Australian drugstores are so ratchet. Everything, oop. Seriously, like almost everything, if you're not careful, it's been used or opened and it's just gross. But anyway. Ooh, pretty. It's that one on the very, very bottom and it's so pretty. I love it. Love, love, love. I did pick up two other lip liners. These are from Rimmel and I've been wanting these for a while. I always seem to buy a red and a nude lip liner. I love lining my lips if it's red. I'm um, like if I'm wearing red lipstick and I love lining my lips to make them look bigger, which is why I buy nudes, but I don't buy pink lip liners, which is really, really strange, but whatever. Um, so the nude one that I bought is in the shade Addiction. I think I've already shown this in one video um, already, but this is what the shade looks like. It's the one on the bottom. It's a little bit different to the Essence one. It's a little bit darker and I like these because they are slanted and they do have a little bit of a wider nib. Is that what you call them? Nib? I don't know. <laughs> and then the other shade that I bought is called Red Diva. And... Oh my god, how good's that? It dropped and it didn't even like break off. It's good. <laughs> okay, so this is called Red Diva. And that is just that shade there. So I did pick up the L'Oreal Miss Manga Mascara. I did just pick it up in the black shade, or at least I'm hoping it's the black shade. Um, yeah, I really wanted to pick up like a purple or like a blue um, in the mascara, but I was like, seriously, Laura, when are you ever going to wear purple mascara? Like seriously, when are you ever going to wear purple mascara? Don't waste your money, buy the black. So I bought the black and I'm really, really happy. Apparently this sold out in the first day at both my price lines in the city. Um, yeah, I was really, really shocked. I was like, what, really, you had tons of them. 
but anyway um, and then the last product that I bought is from Maybelline and it's called their Master Highlight by Face Studio Highlighting Bronzer and I got mine in shade light bronze it's not a bronzer it's definitely a highlighter I do have it on my cheeks today as my less intense highlight so I put on this first and then I put on the bourgeois just on the very very top just so it wouldn't just be like a random patch of like super highlightedness this is really really pretty I really really enjoy it I do definitely want to pick up more but I just feel like I'm so happy with how this is do I really need another one you know what I'm saying but anyway, guys, I think that's all that I have to share with you for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below some of your highlights from the sale that you picked up. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.